Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Binarda 3 port PoE pass through switch. So, if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So, if we look on the back, we have a little diagram describing how this can be used, but I'll also show some of this in person. But we have a PoE switch. So, this might be in a closet in your office or your house. So, then imagine we have that Ethernet wire going to a remote location and maybe it's plugged into a single camera, but you want to plug in more than one camera. So what you can do is you can plug your PoE Ethernet into the PoE extender and then you can connect three other devices to it and it passes through the PoE and it also acts as a switch to share that one network cable. So let me open this up and take a look at it. So there are no instructions with this, but here's the device. So most of the information you're going to get on this is on the Amazon description. So this is a 100 megabit switch. So being a 100 megabit switch, this should work fine with phones and security cameras. Where you could notice some of the slowness is if you hook a Wi-Fi access point to this. Now if you're streaming media, a 100 megabit connection could stream about 20 high definition streams. So this could still work for Wi-Fi applications. So the max input wattage on this is 30 watts. The max output wattage is 24 watts. Or actually on here it says 25 the Amazon page says 24 and it supports IEEE 802.3AF.AT. Now this does not support 24 volt passive PoE. You could also use these ethernet ports with non-PoE devices. So let me show my test setup. Okay so here I have two security cameras and this one is currently connected. Now I have my laptop off to the side here and my network equipment can tell me how many watts it's drawing. So I'm not going to show this each time but I just wanted people to know where I'm getting this information from. So this is currently drawing 2.3 watts. So what I'm going to do is unplug this and this is ethernet plugged into a poe switch and i'm going to plug in the extender so this has three poe out ports and one poe in so you can see that here okay so that snapped in pretty tight now we can come out of here or actually i'll let this connect up and i'll see if i can get a reading on just the wattage on this so this is currently showing 2.2 watts i'm not 100 percent sure if that's accurate but we'll just try it and see what happens so i'll go into the poe one port here and we'll plug that into the camera. Now this does fit on a DIN rail. You can clip it on there, or you can hook it in with these screw holes. So I just checked and I'm still getting 2.2 watts. So it might take a while for this to update. But while it's doing that, I'm going to plug in this other camera here. Now, if we look on here, we can see these are flashing. Now, unfortunately, there's no way to turn that off. So if you had this in a bedroom or something, you might just cover that with tape if it's bothering you. And then I have this laptop here. The one I'm using, it's actually on Wi-Fi, but I can use it on Ethernet. So I'll just plug that in too. So we're using all three ports. Okay, so I currently show it using 3.4 watts. So let's take a look at the computer here. Okay, so here we have the two cameras connected up. It's a little bit of a delay, but I moved them here. You can see that they are live. Let's go to the web browser. This is showing 3.4 watts. I'll refresh the page. And still showing 3.4 watts. Let's go over here to a speed test. So this is measuring my network speed, not the internet speed. Well, I'm guessing we'll get around 100 here. Well, that was an interesting result. We got around 100 download and we got 4.6 upload. Now we are running two cameras on here. Oh, and I am streaming those cameras to this laptop as we speak. Let me close those. Okay, that's better results. So that's the Bernard at 3-port PoE pass-through switch. Now, I don't feel like this is a product that's going to appeal to everyone, but I'm certain there are people that have situations where they're running a PoE network drop to a location and they want to hook up more than one thing there, probably most likely with cameras. So this can be an easy way to do that without running extra wires. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.